Hello and welcome to the top 10 movies of all time presented by Mark Gavins. Here's a little joke for you. Where do cows go when they want to watch films? To the movies. I have not felt the touch of a woman since 1924. Number 10. Cook my dinner you stupid bitch. Mr Bean's Holiday. This film is really good because he does a Nazi salute with his leg. I think that's pretty impressive. Because I cannot lift my leg within five feet of my body. Or else I will collapse and have a heart attack. Number nine. Number nine. Camp Fred. This is the best Fred film. Because it has the lowest budget. And by the end of the film, it turns into Fred Free Camp Auschwitz. Number eight. The Rock Movie. This is a low budget film from Sheffield. And, like everything from Sheffield, it is poor. But very good at the same time. And it's not really good because I also lost my virginity to this film. Number 7. Scary Movie 5. This is the best scary movie I've ever watched, even though it's not actually scary. It is a comedy. And it made me laugh out loud. Ha ha. It's also made me not shit myself. Number 6. Football Factory. I love football, especially Millwall. Up you, lines, And I love sweatshops. Where can this film go wrong? Nowhere. It's got a lot of people fighting. And I like fighting in the streets. Because I'm a geezer. Number five. Alvin and the Chickmunks, The Squeakle. This is the best Alvin and the Chickmunks movie. Because its name has a pun in it. Because Squeakle sounds like sequel. When I saw, first saw the name of this movie I was on the floor p- pissing myself they had to find an EpiPen quick before I started foaming I got rapidly took to the hospital it was the end of part one of my top ten films of all time with Mark Gavins I'll leave you a funny joke because I'm very funny what do you see when two stepsisters are in the same room you film it haha <laughs> I'm a comedian and a film producer. Goodbye. I will see you when I next make a video. And don't look up my name on Google. There are some bad search results.